So what I did is I made friends with a high school kid up there in Bolanus who was a, a, a prodigal a genius type thing that, that Philo had trained at an early age. The kid was a, a genius beyond belief in a lot of diff different areas. He started hanging out with me. So we built a laboratory in his bedroom. So what I did is I took some of the remaining pieces from RCA and configured them. I decided, well, there's nothing else to do with this stuff other than make a Tesla coil. But make it the way Tesla decided to make it. At any rate, to make a long story short, we worked with this and experimented, <coughs> went out to RCA, got more transmitter parts, because you know I could always go back out and get more, because the company was still, the station was still operating then. We build this thing, I take all burned out street lights, we're using the experiment, we get dumpster loads of them from Lease Light in San Francisco. The street lights off of Van Ness Street. They pull them out every certain amount of months, and there's a whole dumpster full of them somewhere. There used to be. We put the street light in these monopolar fields that I just described from these coils, and the street light that we used for this experiment was the one we'd used previously for all of our spark gap experiments and everything, and something had started to transform with the bulb. We put this thing in the field within a matter of a minute or two of working thing in the field. You have to be careful because they explode violently. Full galaxy appears inside the bulb, just like a picture of one of these Nova uh, TV deals. You can spin the whole thing, the stars, the nebulas, the suns, all the colors of the rainbow is spinning inside a burned out street light and virtually powering and, and containing itself, which has gone beyond the Farnsworth. Now we have a whole astronomical creation floating around in a light bulb on a workbench, and then it explodes the bulb. But after it explodes the bulb, for like a tenth of a second, it's not long, it sits there without any bulb to contain it. What is it? What's in it? That's the creative force. This electrical monopolar field is to how creation comes about. There is no evolution or any of that type of stuff. It's the electrical field at the time creates what exists and it's always changing this way and that way. All living organisms are all based, just like all machines, are all based on the same mathematical function. All trees, plants, flowers, humans, everything's based on what's called the golden ratio. It's a definite geometric pattern and all of these electrical discharges associated with these Tesla transformers are all golden ratio pr uh, proportioned and tend to be self-organizing and self-powering. So that ends the story.